السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی اسٹارٹ دا موسٹ آئی ڈرا سم پوائنٹس آف جے ایف ای ٹی ڈیو ٹو یور ایگزام بٹ آئی ڈسکس دا امپورٹنٹ پوائنٹس آف چیپٹر ایٹ فسٹ بٹ یو کین ریڈ دیز پوائنٹس بائی یور سیلف If you have any problem, you can ask me. Or as I make more lecture on chapter 8, then I go to discuss that points. So now I am discussing the MOSFET. MOSFET is the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. There are two type of MOSFET, enhancement MOSFET and depletion MOSFET. There is a big difference between MOSFET and GFT due to no PN junction structure. and MOSFET have the gate is connected through insulated of layer of silicon dioxide so we discuss the chap we discuss the structure of a MOSFET now this is the structure of a MOSFET where gate is connected through the layer of insulator of silicon dioxide as shown in the diagram now we see that how the e mosfet working we see there is no depletion region between gate and source as we supply the voltage of vgg at above the threshold voltage then the depression region created and negative charge is induced at this channels this vgs must be increased at voltage of gate to source threshold voltage then the depression region occurred as silicon layer separated the gate to the depression region then a negative sign indicate us negative charges so enhanced mosfet ya e mosfet can be operated when vgs is greater than threshold voltage otherwise there is no channel created and the voltage do not operate the mosfet next this is the symbolic representation there i tell you one thing this is n channel mosfet and there is n channel mosfet symbols and p channel mosfet symbols next point is d mosfet d mosfet has like uh, this form of structure or this this is n channel this is a p channel while d mosfet have two modes enhanced mode and depression mode depletion mode while enhanced mode has only enhanced mode there is no deple- depletion mode both channels are same except 
the n channel polarities are opposite to the p channel or polarities or vice versa so n channel diffuse the spreads to the from drain to source or source to drain next how we can operate it in d mode the gate is negatively connected or vgg a drain to source is oppositely biased while in enhanced mode gate is connected to the positive side of the supply and source is connected to the negative while vgg is always negative or less than zero which represent us this our vgs is negative and less than zero then id is increases on the other hand vgs is positive then it can move or operate the mosfet enhanced mode mosfet and d mosfet symbols there is a n channel symbols and p channel symbolic representations and connected by this line this is the d mosfet symbolic representations while if you go back to the e mosfet there is a se separate form of shown in this symbols next power structure and laterally diffuse mosfet this is the other type of mosfets which are making after these e or d mosfet you can read it by yourself v mosfet this is not a difficult things in their points dual gate mosfet next point is mosfet characteristics and parameters e mosfet transfer characteristics this is for n channel and this is for p channel as we know that e mosfet vgs voltage gate to source is must be or more than threshold voltage then id increased in current increases or e mosfet operate between vgs0 to threshold e mosfet do not operate and id current is not increasing or its value is equal to 0 in these two points so vgs must be increases and n channel vgs is positive and p channel vgs is threshold is negative so as vgs threshold increases id increases there is no a certain value of id where we get the id s the significant parameter of id s because this graph do not made to the id r no limits in this it mention us that at a certain value of vgs the id go to the maximum but id increase 
with the increase of VGS after threshold voltage. This is the ID values where K is the constant depend upon the particular MOSFETs and VGS minus VGS threshold and whole square. It represents us that VGS total must be less than this voltage from 0 to VGS threshold then we get and its square multiplied by the K. K can be given by the data sheet of the MOSFET. The example can be represented as you can solve these examples to understand the E MOSFET. Now we go to the D MOSFET transfer characteristics. This is for N channel, this is for P channel. There it is similar to the JFET when N channel E MOSFET D MOSFET sorry D MOSFET VGS is negative while the P channel in P channel VGS is or VGS is positive so the at VGS of or cutoff point ID is 0 at IDS the VGS is 0 or vice versa while in VGS of can be find from this question that we discuss in previous lecture of GF, GF ET when I the opposite sign of VP is VGS of when we know the VGS of we get the value of VP or we know the VP then we get the of value of VGS of so this is the D MOSFET curve of characteristics curves next is handling and precautions you can read it by yourself MOSFET biasing this is now we can operate E MOSFET by using potential divider. It is same as we discuss in amplifier, transistor amplifier, or collector meter amplifier, or further next chapters. There is no difference. Questions are also same. Not very difficult. You read it by yourself. Next is also you can read it. This is similar to JFET. There is no difference. I think it is the important of these chapter important points of these chapters. So you can read it by yourself. Thank you.